guys, how you doing? Hope you're good. Um, today I decided to try, well it's an oldie, but I want to see if it's still as good as it used to be. It's the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. Um, so they've launched recently the Glow, Revolution Glow Foundation. So I wanted to see if this is still up to scratch. I've not worn it for such a long time. So let's just play with some makeup. This is the shade F10. I think it's a little dark for me, so I might have to do a mixer with it. So I've just spritzed my face with a hydrating mist. Um, my face is really dry and hydrated most of the time. So this is why I have so much moisturizer on my face, because it's just, just trying to keep it hydrated 24 seven really. Um, this, so let's go with this. Um, it's not a squeezy pond like the others. Okay, let's see how we go with one. Okay, so that's the first layer done. Can't really see anything, it still looks like skin, so let's go in with another one. Me, um, more is always better, um, especially with foundation. So let's see how. How long does this last? Twelve months. Okay. So I've just used the brush. I don't think I need a sponge because it's looking kind of nice. Um, yeah, my face is well hydrated, but it it looks really nice. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, I still like this foundation. Let's just put the rest of the face on, see how see how it looks. So let's stay with Revolution and use the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. Wow, I've not used this in a while, and look how light this concealer is. Why do I always buy my concealers so super light? That's like, it's like 10 shades too light. I'm sure when I blend it all in together, it will just all melt together so it'll look fine. And sometimes you just need a little brightness around this area. And as I said, the foundation was a little bit too, it wasn't too dark, I think it was spot on really with my um, skin tone, but if it does oxidize, then it's gonna look super duper dark, so. Let's just add a bit of brightness anyway, which I'm sure this concealer is going to do. See, it's all melting in. It doesn't actually look that bad. So everything's looking beautiful. I forgot how much I like this foundation. It is really nice. I just think so many come out, but you just forget how good it is. Um, so it's a drugstore foundation. So I would wear it for maybe five hours. I wouldn't go more than that. I wouldn't go more than six. Um, so yeah, it's like, nip into the shops, doing errands, that kind of thing. I wouldn't wear this for one one of my 12-hour um, shifts at work. I don't think it would last that long. It may do, I, I don't know. Um, but like I said, um, yeah, I'm really liking it. This and the concealer. So let's go in with the Revolution Lace Baking Powder. Let's just go in with this. Let's just try and keep it Revolution today. Um, it's a Sunday, it's a lazy day. So everything's set, looks amazing. I'm loving the powder too, the lace one. Um, they have a banana one as well, I'm not sure about that. I think that's a little too thick, but the lace one is, I think, more finely milled. I'm really liking how it looks. Um, it does look good. And um, yeah, you do really need to set this foundation down. Okay, so just went away and finished my eye area up um, so I just basically used this Revolution Reloaded New Trials 2 palette um, I've had it for quite a while I love their palettes like they're like inexpensive they're like five pounds six pounds whatever um, the pinks in here I really love this is why I've not thrown it away yet love the pinks in here um, you can just pink really much really goes with my skin tone so. Um, just on my eyelashes, I have by Essence, I have the Get Big Lashes Volume Boost 
And then I have the Lash, um, is it Paradise or Princess? The writing is scrubbed off. So yeah, I just have these two on. So can I just take a minute to talk about this Wet n Wild um, eyeliner pencil? Sorry, the writing is scrubbed off again. Um, I've had it for a while. I've had it for like six months. It's the Wet n Wild eyeliner pencil. Um, it's very large. It's like three pounds. I got it on Beauty Bay. It's very big compared to the average pencil. Um, so I say the average pencil would be. So you get quite a lot in it. I think I've sharpened it twice. This is really creamy. This is one of the best eyeliner pencils I've used. It's really creamy. It just glides on and it's really black. Um, I, I really like this pencil. Amazing, it's like three, three, four pounds. And also this Maybelline Crayon Curl in 100, oh, it's a Kyol, K-H-O-L, I can't say that. Eyeliner, matter, yeah. So anyway, this black eyeliner, um, again, this is a really good one. This is from like Boost or Superdrug, six pounds, really good. Um, so I have my Urban Decay one, this was like 20 quid, Would, am I going to repurchase this? No. So the darkest one is the Wet n Wild one and um, this light one is the Urban Decay. So I have this Dermo, Dermo Blend Professional Quick Fix Body in Golden. Ooh. This is a really nice product and um, this was given to me so... I don't actually know where you buy this from. I'll have to do some research. Um. Okay, I don't think I've got enough one. That blended really nicely. Um, I use the tiniest amount. I'm not going to set it. I'm just going to leave it like that. For highlighter, I have this by Illa Masco. Um, it's called Beyond Powder Highlighter um, in shade, oh my god, OMG. This is a little um, test travel size. It kind of reminds me of Ode um, Ofra Rodeo Drive. Swatch that. It is gorgeous. Oh, you can't really see. It's kind of like over Rodeo Drive, that kind of vibe. So can you can you see it? It's really nice, subtle melts into the skin. Skin, that's probably why you can't see it. It's melted into the skin. So that is a beautiful, subtle highlighter. You can barely see it, um, but it is really beautiful if you like subtle and not in your face. For blush, I'm just gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury in Ecstasy. Um, I rarely use this enough. Um, I think it's a bit pale for me, but like I said, I'm just gonna swish and pop. Um, I just blend it all together really, I don't really put the pop in the, in the apples of the cheeks, I just blend it all up together. I don't think this blush is worth £30, um, I would not repurchase this or any of the other blushes because they're just, they're just not worth £30. Um, for lip liner I have the Diego de la Palma in shade 80. Um, not tried this before so that looks nice that's a that is a nice lip liner um i have this um lipstick from wet and wild i got it the other day um it's what color is it 
doesn't really say. It doesn't really have a colour on it. Anyway. Oh yeah, just sorry. It's called Just Peachy. Um, it's quite messy actually. Um, but then again, Wet n Wild's really cheap, so you get what you pay for. So yeah guys, um, it's a great drugstore foundation, it's still, um, I still really like it and I'm going to keep repurchasing it. So guys, thank you for watching, I really enjoyed making this video, I hope you like watching it, um, so have a great day and I will hopefully see you soon, bye!